Southampton's bar gate was begun in 1170 as a simple stone archway and it was added to over the next couple of hundred years until we ended up with this magnificent entrance to the medieval town. And for hundreds of years, all the traffic that came into Southampton had to enter through this gate and pay a toll at the other side to the town counter. If you had sheep or cattle, you'd pay per head of cattle, wagons you'd pay for. And eventually, in the early 20th century, we had motor cars and electric trams passing through. And the traffic problem got so bad that the corporation decided to knock down the walls either side of the bar gate to allow the traffic to pass around the monument rather than through the archway. Now the trams were already open topped, they'd come down here, the, the rails would be passing through above Bar Street, down the High Street here to Holyrood, and then they'd head towards the Itchen Bridge. Now the original uh, open topped trams, there's a surviving example at Critch in Derbyshire at the museum, and at the top of the stairs there's a hand painted sign that says, when passing through the Bargate Arch, do not touch the cables. The cables would have been running through here. There would have been lamp posts type, lamp post type structures with holding the uh, copper cables. They would have passed under here. So the tram, the, the later trams were especially designed for Southampton. They were domed and they were a very snug fit through this archway. So we've come through the arch and then if you look at the top of the archway you see evidence of the trams that pass through you can see their degree the green stripe you get this on church roofs and statues made of bronze and copper it's the oxidization and uh, that's our evidence of the trams passing through